Good morning. Today is September 1st. We're in September already. Can you believe that? Like September. Wow. It just went, summer went by really fast, right? That's what I felt. It's like summer went by really fast and you know. Um, so we are reading another, another Psalm. We're reading another Psalm, right? <laughs> I've been reading Psalms for a minute. <laughs> We are in Psalms 119. This will be part three of the, um, we still are just, man, this is, this is a lot, but it's so good. This is such a good Psalm, right? Um, tonight, woo, tonight is, uh, a Crowder, right? David Crowder band, the Crowder concert tonight in Elkhorn, Wisconsin. It's going to be awesome. I am so super excited just for the wonderful, like, one of my favorite artists, really. Um, and one of the things is, is that as a Christian, um, I took out all the old music. Like, I changed my whole Spotify playlist and everything like that. And um, because I can't listen to the old stuff. I can't put that. It's very important what we put in our eyes and our ears. So important. So important. So if you're listening to stuff that just doesn't sit right with God, right? What does God want you to listen to? Have you asked yourself that? What does God want you to listen to? What does God want you to hear? Because if you're sitting there listening to swears and cusses and all that stuff, it says in the Bible that that language is not allowed. You know that, right? That language is not allowed. Nope. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm. No, it's not. The foul language says it right in the Bible. Don't ask me where, but I'm sure you can look it up and find it. But no, not allowed. Okay, anyway, so we're on Psalms 119, New Living Translation. Um, and I'm pray us in. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus. Oh God, thank you again for another blessed day, Lord Jesus. Thank you for uh, watching over us and protecting us, Lord Jesus. Thank you, um, for each and one, every one of my friends who are watching this, Lord Jesus, we just ask that you um, bless them today, Lord Jesus. Today is Sunday, Lord Jesus. We just ask that you bless them, God, that you um, let their day just be just full of blessings, just blessings, like where they have no worry, no doubt, no fear, no anxiety, none of that, Lord Jesus, that they just feel blessed, like they just walk in it, Lord Jesus. And I just ask that for them, Lord Jesus. And thank you for answering that prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I always thank God after you pray because he answers. Mm -hmm. Got to speak into existence. So we're on Zion. 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 Z-A-Y. Zion. Zion. Okay. Number 49. Remember your promise to me. It is my only hope. Your promises revive me. It comforts me in all my troubles. The proud hold me in utter contempt, but I do not turn away from your instructions. Do you turn away from God's instructions? These Psalms has been all about instructions, right? And do you turn away from God's instructions? Because... When God talks to you, and he talks to us all differently, I mean, my, he talks to my friend way differently than he talks to me, right? And so, but you have these, you know, God, like these instructions, right? You're like, eh, I don't think I need to read my Bible. That's not for me. You know, somebody told me that. I was like, what? The Bible's not for you? It's for everybody, and we have to put that in our heart. No, I just don't feel like it's for me. You know, but I'll go to church and, you know. Hmm. I'm not somebody that just, you know, keeps my words in and doesn't say anything. So I said something because I was like. But I need to learn how to give sugar. Sugar with stuff. Sugar is good. Number 52. I meditate on your age-old regulations, oh Lord. They comfort me. I become furious with the wicked because they reject your instruction. You know, it was so funny. <laughs> well, I tell you all, God corrected me, right? Because I seen some people judging people, right? And I am just like, oh my goodness, right? In my head, right? I'm like, da da da. And here's God's like, why are you judging people? 
like you shouldn't judge people who are judging people right you know what I mean because it's like you're judging somebody who judges another person it's like you're no better than them you know what I mean you right you hypocrite look at your the log in your own eye before you look at the log in somebody else's eye right that's the that's the scripture right there um just got to my mind look at that I'm quoting scripture now right okay um where are we Number 54, your decrees have been the theme of my song wherever I have lived. I reflected the night. Uh, I, I reflect at night who you are, O oh Lord. Therefore, I obey your instructions. This is how I spend my life, obeying your commands. Mm. Obeying his commands. It's always about obeying his commands. Obey his commands. So easy, right? And it's not easy, but it's easy instructions. <laughs> Number 57, Lord, you are mine. I promise to obey your words. With all my heart, I want your blessings. Be merciful as you promise. You know, God gives us blessings. Mm -hmm. One of the things I've been learning is uh, giving generously, right? Do you know that if we give, even if we don't have the money to give, and if we give, God will bless us? Did you know that? I'm just learning that stuff. Like, like, you look at your bank account, you're like, mm, you know, you don't understand how you can do this or how you can do that. But if you give it away, do you know that he's going to bless you like abundantly for it? Hard one. Like, that, that's hard to wrap your head around, right? Because it's like, wait, so you're telling me that if I have like a hundred dollars in my bank account and I say, you know what? I'm just giving that a hundred dollars away and God's going to bless me abundantly. Mm-hmm. Remember the lady in the Bible who had like her little last, that's it, that's all she had, the little little change or whatever, and she gave her last, she gave her last, she, didn't, she had no more money, she gave it all, right? And then God like totally blessed her, like totally blessed her, she was, she gave it all. She didn't know, she didn't know how she going to pay rent, she didn't know how she going to do all this stuff, because she trusted in the Lord because somebody else needed it more than her, because she knew that God was going to bless her. Right. That's so good. That That's some preaching right there, right? Because I need to listen to that right there. Because, man, yeah, the giving part, and it's hard. It's hard because you, you know, you're so used to the world, how the world says, oh, you hold on to it because you can take it with you. Well, you can't. Mm -mm. Um, 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 where are we at? Do you know where we're at? Number 59. Okay, I pondered the direction of my life, and I turned to follow your laws. I will hurry without delay to obey your commands. Evil people will try to drag me into sin, but I am firmly anchored to your instruction. Do you have that friend that just says, Oh, come on, let's do this! And you're like, okay! But you know what's wrong? Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Because God wants you to, like, have friends, first of all, that are on the same level as you. Same people as you, right? You know, the people that are done to hold for Jesus. That's the type of friends God wants you to have. You need to have those type of friends, you know? And it's who you surround yourself around is how you act, okay? So if you keep surrounding yourself with the old people, the people of your past, the people of this, you're just, you know, I mean, yeah, you can start ministering to them. You can start, uh, you know, talking about Jesus to them. But if they don't want to change your ways, if they're not even listening to anything you say, then why are you hanging out with them? You know, they're not, they're not with you. They're not of you. They're not of Jesus, right? Number 62, I rise at midnight to thank you for your just regulations. Ooh, this is important. Where are we at in time? This is important. Number 62, I'm going to read it again. This is very important, okay? I rise at midnight to thank you for your just regulations. Do you get woken up at a certain time? Hmm? A lot of us do, right? And it's God wanting you to pray for him. Pray. Start praying. Start talking to him. When you keep getting woken up at a certain time, it's God wanting you to pray, do something for him. It's usually God. It's, it's that's the thing. 
So he'll wake you up out of a dead sleep and just be like, oh, I need you to do this. Start praying, start talking to me, do something, right? Because there's something going on that you don't see or that you don't know, right? And just God just wants you, you know? Number 63, I'm a friend to anyone who fears you, anyone who obeys your commandments. That's what I'm talking about, your friends. I'm a friend to anyone who fears you, anyone who obeys your commandments. Oh, Lord, your unfailing love fills the earth. Teach me your decrees. Amen. Now, teeth, 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 teeth. You have done many good things for me, Lord, just as you promised. I believe in your commands. Now teach me good judgment and knowledge. Good judgment and knowledge, we need that. Because if you don't have good judgment and knowledge, you're just going to be like, yeah, whatever, I can do this, I can do that. You cannot just do that. you got to follow his instruction. Number 67, I used to wander off until you discipled me, but now I closely follow your word. That. I used to wander to the bars, to this, to that. Now I follow Jesus' word. 68, you are good and do only good. Teach me your decrees. Arrogant people smearing me with lies, but in truth I obey your commandments with all my heart. Do you have so much pride and arrogance that you're just like, oh, well, I'm just better than them, you know. I go to church on Sundays. Mm-mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm going to have to get that thinking out of you. Yes, you have to get that thinking out of you. Number 70, their hearts are, are dull and stupid, but I delight in your instructions. My suffering was good for me, for it taught me to pay attention to your decrees. Your instructions are more valuable to me than millions in gold and silver. So, do you... We'll stop on that one. Yeah, we'll stop on that one. Um, your instructions are more valuable to me than millions of gold and silver. So what if you have millions and millions of dollars in gold, right? Or um, do you value the Bible as that? Like, would you rather have millions and millions of dollars in gold and not know the Bible? Or would you have the Bible and not have millions and millions of dollars in gold? What would you do? That is the question because if you say I'd have the Bible but not have millions of dollars of gold, that's the right answer because you want this. You don't want to not know it. You want to know it. And God will provide the riches, right? He'll provide the riches. Whatever your riches are, He will provide it. He will provide it. I know that for a fact. Like He, He will provide it. And he purifies us. He purifies us to be better, to be, you know, a better person, a better this, a better that. Like, you know what I mean? He purifies us. And we're not going to be, you know, a year from now, we're not going to be in the same walk where we're at right now, right? We're not, you know, so. He purifies us, yes. So, yup, we still got, ooh, we got like two and a half pages still left. But this is so good. I love these. I love this one. This is my favorite psalm, probably. And I got a lot of favorites, but I like psalms a lot. Okay. Ooh, we're at 1330. 1333, right? Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, thank you for this wonderful uh, Bible reading, Lord Jesus. Thank you for everything, God. I just ask just pure blessings over everybody, Lord Jesus, that you bless them. You keep them in your heart, Lord Jesus, that... You know, you are in their heart also, Lord Jesus. And I just ask that. We thank you. We thank you, God. We just thank you. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I love you guys. Love you so much. You have a wonderful and blessed day.